what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here and i'm not alone this time i have a very special guest i'm joined today by podcast now thank you for joining me on this channel to discuss more screen five related topics thank you so much for having me it's an honor and privilege and i'm uh, very excited to be here so today we are going to be talking about where we see the franchise going after Scream 5 because we know that uh, Spyglass and Radio Silence, they have talked about wanting to make future installments. At one point they did say that I think Samara Weaving was supposed to be in the in this film, but her schedule was not lining up with theirs. So she ultimately was not in Scream 5. So I definitely think they want to bring her back for future entries if Scream 5 performs well critically and uh, financially for them. So... Do you want to go first? You can go first. Tell, yeah, tell us I mean, so, you well, and like go. you said, yeah, financially, I think that's one of the most. And we we didn't even talk about this in our uh, our pre video me uh, meeting, but obviously, yeah, the movie needs to do good. And I think both of us have probably talked about that for a long time. That like, for the love of God, please, people, go whether it's uh, during the pandemic or after, you know, whatever ends up happening, please see this movie. Even if it sucks, I guess we can complain about it if it sucks. But as long as we see it, to give them at least the option, you know, to make more of these. I don't think there's any Scream fan out. I, I, I think mo most people probably want the franchise to just die and stop rather than keep waiting 10 plus years, you know, in between entries. So that's definitely the first thing is to just you know keep going after this and i think that's important you know uh, a discussion we'll have here is you know do we want it to be do, uh, do we want two more do we want just one i mean obviously ending at six is a nice number you know the two kind of trilogy or, or a saga kind of thing i think they could probably go as long as they wanted to i i've always said that the face of scream is ghostface and sydney I, I really do think of her just as important however depending on what they do with her whether they kill her off or not but uh, i guess how much they put onto her uh, in this movie will depend like okay well you really don't need her in that big of a role going forward and then really the franchise could theoretically uh last forever so i definitely want more of them i'd prefer sydney is in them even if it's just kind of a mentor role or just kind of watching out for people even as she gets older halloween has pulled it off pretty well i don't really and you know nev campbell's only 47 i don't see why if they make two or three movies in the next 10 years i feel like they could do it Definitely. Yeah. Nev Campbell, she is, again, the heart and soul of this franchise. She's been a part of it since the beginning. We did talk about this uh, in our other video that we recorded together. So I definitely would see Sydney sticking around in some type of mentor role. I don't think she would necessarily be like a main focus character if they decide, because I don't see her being that for this upcoming film. I don't think she's going to be like here in the forefront, which is going to be following her. It's going to be Jenna Ortega or uh, Melissa Barrera that we're following mostly in Sydney would just be here to help them. So I think that's kind of what she would do also if she were to stick around for future entries. Um, and since we know that the Carpenter sisters are at the center of this fifth film, definitely would assume that they, of course, would make it out alive, but they could pull the rug out from under us and one of them could die. At least one of them is going to make it out. One of them has to make it out. If, if both of them die, that's, okay. that's going to be very shocking. A little disappointing too because they're just doing the same thing that they've done in the previous films they just kill off too many supporting characters so i think the carpenters should stay alive and we should see this relationship between them grow uh see maybe i guess depending on how old tara is because i know jenna ortega plays the younger sister depending on how old she is supposed to be i think she's supposed to be like 17 or 18. we can see her go off to college i know they've done the whole college thing before they could do it again. Kevin Williamson actually already talked about the fact that he wanted to do that for his screen five. So they could do it here with Tara Carpenter and have her go off to college, maybe bring back Kirby Reed, have Hayden Pantier come back and reprise the role. People already think that that's what they're doing with these supposed reshoots that are going on. But in future entries, yeah, I think they should just stop at seven. I would prefer, yes, they stop at six. But I think what they want to do is have another trilogy that's just separate and kind of like have Scream 4 be a bridge into this new trilogy since Scream 4 in itself failed to start off the new trilogy. So I think that's what they will do here. And then ultimately in the end, we'll just have films revolving around these Carpenter sisters, getting to know more things about them. Of course, having more killers come after them. We're going to find out things we didn't find out in this upcoming film, of course, because that's how else would they be making these sequels? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, totally. I think the, these two characters are like, uh, I, I would say good enough. I guess maybe that would be kind of um, putting them down a little bit. But I, I'm interested enough in these two characters that if both of them made it through, that would be completely cool. If uh, I'm kind of bracing for one of them to not be there, I find it a little odd that Jenna Ortega, I mean, is Jenna Ortega, I guess, the, like, the bigger name, right? But she's been 
kind of on the media circuit, even as they've been filming, right? She was on the Drew Barrymore show. She's just kind of more in the light, whereas uh, Melissa Barrera's kind of been, I would say, like overall more quiet. I don't know if that's kind of a, a sign of what's to come. I'm kind of only expecting Jenna Ortega to make it out of this. Again, if, if both of them do, that's completely fine. And yeah, I, I think one of the biggest things that kind of rests on if these movies are going to be good going forward is if you can keep finding reasons to bring a killer in. And like you were just saying, you know, uh, Scream 4 kind of has that bridge to this new one. I feel like you definitely have run out of ways of, of bringing it into Sydney. I think the last way that you could here, and we actually talked about this on my channel, is Dewey, or or actually Gail. You know, if you kill off one of the other original two, you were bringing, you know, by doing that, you'd be bringing uh, Sydney back. But I think, you know, they said, you know, the directors did say that, like, it, it, the killer is connected to, you know, their characters, the Carpenter sisters, but as well as Sydney. But I feel like this would probably be the last movie that that kind of setup uh, happens. You know what I mean? Because after that, yeah, Sydney could be a mentor or, you know, just kind of there watching, uh, kind of g growing old and then kind of just being brought back into it because she feels some sort of, you know, that she needs to protect these characters. But at the same time, you know, you can't keep having the characters uh, connected or the, uh, the killers connected to her. And I, I, last thing I guess I'll say, I definitely agree with you when you say about the side characters. I mean, I think they made a huge mistake even I mean, Scream 3, there was a lot of throwaway characters, and then you had Scream 4, with some pretty darn solid ones, including, obviously, Kirby, and uh, not making it, you know, blatantly clear if some of these characters make it, or, you know, her if she makes it. Uh, yeah, I think they need, they have a really good cast of young, very likable, like all these characters, you know, the, the all, all these actors that they're getting, Dylan Manette and all of them, very, you know, a lot of people know them, a lot of people are interested in them, to take all of them out, except for, like, one or two, I feel like that would kind of not be you know, doing the greatest thing because you have, again, this core cast that you could grow with. Now, the thing with Scream always is kind of killing off the majority of them, but you do have this core cast getting rid of all of them to then start new again. You'd kind of just be doing again with Scream 4 and 5 did. Yeah, definitely. And again, I think the working title for the project was Parkside Alpha. I think, yeah, because it's how a lot of us started finding these audition tapes. We started thinking at one point who was going to be playing someone who we thought was going to be named something completely different Then their official names came out. So Parkside Alpha, if that was the working title, if I'm remembering it right, that could be the town because we know Melissa Barrera's character, she... The synopsis described like a young woman returning to her hometown. We know Sam is supposed to have some type of troubled past. So she could be returning to Woodsboro from a town named Parkside Alpha. So like the other screen movies after screen five could leave Woodsboro and we could be in Parkside Alpha. I think that's another thing that yeah. could happen if this is actually, you know, a town that exists in this universe. I've seen people speculate that they could connect it to the TV series. I'd rather they not do that <laughs> unless yeah. they're going to do their own TV series. Um, and just revive it that way. I don't want this connected to Brandon James, but yeah, that's what I think could happen. I think we could venture out of Woodsboro once again, either it be a college, a different neighborhood, just like the other films, and just see this relationship between the Carpenter sisters grow. And of course, they'll have Sydney on speed dial when they need her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But otherwise, if that is all we have for you guys today, you can go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notification and never miss a video. In the description, I'm going to have links on my all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will leave uh, podcast nows. And you need to go subscribe to his channel. Check out, check out all of his cool screen content and all of his content that he posts on that channel. And definitely give him a subscribe as well. And with all that in mind, guys, we will see you in the next video.